So you have a new website, a new business started, and you don't know what to do next. You're confused what to do with your marketing, what's the strategy, how you're gonna get more sales. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips for you to really take your business to the next level. Hey guys, it's Lynn Benetti here, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, my goal is to help you achieve time and financial freedom. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so that you get notification every single week when I release my videos. Okay, so like you, back in 2009 was when I first started my e-commerce business. I had no idea about marketing or sales or business in general, but I was so proud that I built up a website. Well, not me, technically. I hired a web developer to build me a website. I had the products all lined up. I, it was a nail polish uh, product where I turned my second bedroom into this production line and got all these products out. So I thought I was ready to go in terms of products already, the website's ready, and customers were gonna come. But there was no customers. It was just a website and that was when I discovered that I needed to learn online marketing. So the gullible me thought that once I have a website up, people were going to find me. But I didn't realize that my website was amongst millions or billions of websites that are on Google. And so how is it that people will be able to find me? And so I had to learn something called SEO, which is search engine optimization. Of course, I had no idea how to do it, so I hired an overseas person to do it for me. So you can find people on places like Upwork, Fiverr, these platforms where they bring you in with um, affordable contractors from overseas to do you know, specific tasks for you. And then I realized that SEO or search engine optimization will take a bit longer because you, it's like you need to do all these, the link building and content and everything for Google to sort of eventually feel that you're a trusted site and a popular site and then they'll start ranking you on page one. So that was going to be a longer strategy and so then I ended up having to learn that I needed something called Google AdWords. So the beauty about Google AdWords is that if you pay Google money, they will get your page you know, shown to people who are searching for those keywords. So straight away you can get into business, right? You can get people watching or finding your website rather than waiting for your website to be found. And so I do recommend that if you do have a budget, have money for it, then you should actually look into Google AdWords. But before you get into all these tactics, let me bring you back to what you really need to know first. Okay, so first of all, what I realized that I made a mistake in was that I didn't really have the foundation for my business, right? Like I didn't know who my clientele was, I didn't know how I was different to other people. I didn't know how I was actually solving a problem or how my service or my product was any different or be able to solve a problem that others can't. So you really need to go back to the fundamentals. So if you started a business and if you're like me where you just started and not really knowing why you started and what it was all about and just got a website up, now it's not too late to go back into square one in a sense analyze what your product is all about or what your service is about. So what that I mean by that is doing competitor analysis, doing a avatar, like who is your client? Like imagine what would they be like, right? So if I had my nail polish business again, I would go, okay, it's, you know, women from this age to that age and why would they like my product? Oh, they, they care about the Australian brand rather than overseas brand. So I need to really analyze like how am I different so that I could actually showcase it on my website and then I, I really would have needed to come up with other service or products or offerings to include in my product so that people can't get it elsewhere, right? And so the, my first business failed and I, well, I sold it to someone else because I just couldn't sell it. But it wasn't because of the strategy. It wasn't because I wasn't on Google, you know, SEO or ads or Facebook. It was more that my business was not different, was not standing out, was, you know, there was nothing special about it. And so I encourage you to really go back analyzing your business and make it special. How you do that is you think about what is a problem that someone may have? How can I combine this product maybe with other products or with my expertise in other areas to make it so different that other people, you know, that they can only get it from you or they, they'd rather get it from you than someone else, right? So you need to get the strategy right and understand your audience, understand who's buying from you so that you could really speak to them, you know, really offer the right thing to the audience. Okay, so now 
Imagine that you figure it out and you've got a great product and great service now, you fix up your website and you're ready to go out to market again, yeah? So I've already mentioned the two things which is Google Ads and SEO, but there are so many other strategies such as social media, you know, paying for Facebook ads, email marketing, building a list, building emails so that you could then market to them. But the whole point is that if you're new to this, it's going to take you a lot longer to really learn and understand and to do it right. If I could turn back time, I really wish that I would hire an agency than rather trying to do it myself because I didn't really know what I was doing. So although I thought I was paying cheap for the resources, but the resources were not following the right strategy or I didn't really know what was right for my business. So I spent more time. I spent more money in the long run. I didn't even get the results. So I really encourage you to rather pay for the right results than trying to figure everything out yourself. But just because you're paying for somebody does not mean that you don't learn about it. So it's always wise to actually learn. So I got myself learning about what SEO is all about or what AdWords about and what everything that, that I needed to do for my marketing, I learned about it. And so it's important you learn because then you actually know how to communicate with your agency or the providers that you're using to help you grow your marketing. Now, another tip I have for you is consider hiring a business coach, someone that's experienced in marketing or business who can guide you and put you in the right direction. I was trying to save money and I didn't really pay for any mentor or business coach back then. And it was just a longer journey. It was confusing. It was scary. It was sad because you're on your own. But nowadays, I'm always paying for advice. And I wish I did it early. I wish I valued that because I was always thinking about saving money, but I didn't realize that by saving money, I wasn't getting the result and I was losing a lot of money in the end. So you paying for the right advice from the right people who's done it and successful, then you're going to just really save in the long run and you will get the faster results. Now, a tip I have for you in trying to find great providers, whether you're looking for someone to actually execute the marketing or a coach or someone, you can actually look into groups such as there are, there's a group called Like-Minded Bitches Drinking Wine. There is like other Sydney entrepreneur group or whatever entrepreneur group, Facebook groups within your area. You'll find that there's community of people that may be really talented, but they're just starting out as well, but they know their stuff in certain areas. So then you can actually find more affordable resources who actually, yeah, know what they're doing. Because if you Google search for resources, then you're going to find companies that are more expensive, more established that you might not be able to afford. But it's always wise to, you know, look within your own contacts and community group to get recommendations for, hey, do you know someone that can provide great SEO? And it might be someone that's quite fresh, but they've been working in the SEO, you know, department for a long time for an agency and they're starting out, then they're more affordable that they still have that knowledge. And of course, there are programs and courses, online workshops and offline workshops that you can actually attend. So there is just so many, so much information out there that you can find. But I think I would want to summarize it into three things. One is paying for the right advice, finding a coach, finding that someone to direct you in the right direction. Second, investing in more time to learn, to you know, still do these programs and courses so you know what you need done. It's really about you know being the manager, director, learning, knowing what you're hiring and knowing what you're doing, but you don't actually you know execute or, or be in your business too much. Because the problem when you try to learn how to, let's say you think that you should learn how to build a website and then you go and build your website, you're not going to really need that skill to actually grow the business because it's just one of those things where it, it just needs done, but it doesn't grow your business. So you don't need to invest all that time to learning how to build a website and then go and build it. You just need to know what a website is about, you know, what needs to be included in the website so that it is optimized, so that it brings in clients. But it's not learning how to code because you're just going to waste more time, resource and time and money. Now, even with uh, learning about SEO, it's not really about learning and then try to do everything yourself because when you try to do everything yourself and you think you're saving money, like I said, you're wasting time, you're not doing it well as someone who's more experienced and then you, it doesn't it doesn't give you enough time left to actually work on your business or to grow it. And finally, if you are running a service business, then I do have another video that is for business startups who uh, have a service business and I've given you tips on how to actually go out there and get your clients. So it includes going to networking event, going on social media. So I think it will be very useful for you to watch that other video. Now, over the years, I've been, you know, self-teaching myself about business and marketing and I've successfully, you know, ran a agency as well as now running a recruitment company 
that helps people hire marketing staff from overseas. So I know a thing or two about marketing and I realize that I really do want to provide that support to my viewers or the audience who's watching this because people contact me and say, hey, I really like what you say and um, you know, I need advice on you know, how to grow my business or how to achieve time and financial freedom. And so I'm actually planning to launch my own mentoring program. So I'm going to come up with a program that's affordable, but that is valuable, that I will be able to actually coach you as a group and provide you my personal direct insight into how to, you actually can, you know, take my video advice to the next level. So if you are interested in this program, then please follow my, the link in the description below. I will have a link there where you can actually go into my waiting list so that you will get early bird discount and specials for when I actually launch that mentoring program. So like I said, the mentoring program is you being able to access me directly. I'm going to coach you. I'm going to share everything that I know about how to succeed in life and business. So if you are interested, then go into my link below and enter your email so that I will let you know when the program is out. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me on my channel. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please do so that you will be notified next week when my video is out. And of course, I always welcome you to share with me any questions or challenges that you may have so that I could turn it into a video and, you know, help you and help everyone else as well. So, you know, feel free to comment below and share with us. Now, my question for you is, what is the biggest challenge you have in your business right now? Or if you haven't got a business, what is stopping you from starting your business? What is that challenge? Love to hear from you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week. Bye.